What's up guys, welcome back for another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video next match, Crawl Spellist Cup. Um, again, all the way back in group A. Second matchup here, first of all, we have um, Fire Fist from 2013 or art that, uh, yeah, around that time of period. Again, pretty much this particular list wasn't really um, playable when it was first released here in the TCG. You know, well, was it uh, Spirit, I believe, in the TCG got put to one? Or was it... Um, or was it Rooster? I believe it. No, it, it, I believe it was Rooster. Uh, I think it, there was like a difference between both TCG and OCG. But what I want to say again, this particular list, like with three uh, Spirit, uh, three Rooster, three Leopard, uh, yeah, multiple Blaster, um, etc., was not possible for us TCG players. Since Konami, you know, um, intervened uh, with this and with this and prevented us from playing this particular list. Firefix, Firefist, three um, X's. Second list, we have Machina Gadget, Machina Gadgets, however you want to pronounce it. A lot of back row, but their extra deck is super powerful, especially with the huge uh, threat being the Excited Knight and Lavalva Chain to tutor something like Machina Fortress or yeah, possibly your Redox, right? Um, so which deck has the advantage? It might be Machina Gadgets, again due to the amount of back row Maxis in the main deck. Also quite important and Machina Fortress is definitely also a strong card against something like Fire Fist. Okay, uh, let's see um, yeah, the first duel. Okay, um, game number one. I'm not too happy about this first duel. There were like a couple of mistakes on both players, um, yeah, on both sides. So uh, again, mm, again, not too happy, but uh, no spoilers, right? Um, I think I got to start right. This is an okay opening hand, like normal summoning gear frame, the small stratos, searching out Machina Fortress and, you know, starting the small beatdown of the, the gadgets and the gear frame and then main phase 2, making your gear gigant, I believe, to get another search, potentially searching out something like Tin Goldfish. That would have set me up so much uh, if it wasn't for, I believe, Bottomless Trap Hole. But his hand isn't really too fantastic, the dead burner in his hands. Okay, you can search Blaster, but still, what do you want to discard, right? Anywhere there is a spirit, but the spirit will just get blocked by the breakthrough skill. He just followed up with Monster Reborn. Not really sure if going for Zen Mains was the correct move. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure if he had like any targets in his graveyard for like the, the rank 3 exceed Horse Prince. Maybe it was an option or am I missing something? Um, yeah, I'm not really sure. Um, anyway, I'm probably missing something. Anyway, um, okay, the Torrental Tribute, that's all fine again, starting the beatdown. But I have to be aware of the, of course, of the heavy storm, right? You can't really set like three or four back row. Um, like, <laughs> clueless, right? You don't want to uh, blow, at least you don't want to uh, like, have a blowout against a possible heavy storm. But again, this is like a hopeless situation for the opponent. Rick Kingling, that's cute. Going for like horse prints, there is it to special summon something from the deck, right? Maybe he was playing around the Nightmare Trapple, or maybe like Phoenix Chain. Well, yeah, Phoenix, even with the Zen Mains, Phoenix Chain isn't really that. Or yeah, even with, um, yeah, Phoenix Chain, like all the pack row is just too good against Fire Fist. I mean, if he's not able to set up like a big field, uh, he's just like, you know, he has to bail it out against that huge amount of back row. I believe the Gyoku sniped, uh, is it, what was it, Book of Moon? Not really sure about that set, but again, leaving that rooster in attack position costs him the duel. Not really sure if it mattered. Well, he did have uh, the Dark Hole in his hand, so Dark holding the Machina Fortress maybe could have kept him in the duel. But anyway, game number two. This start is definitely much better. It will be a much, much better duel anyway. He, that's, again, a very good start. Opening with Horse Prince with Rooster as well to get a search. And I believe one unknown back row. Um, I could have Typhoon the unknown back row again. And that's something my opponent knows, is there is always a threat of Excited Knight. That's the power of Excited Knight. I mean, if you have like a full set, um, like you had dedicated a lot of uh, cards to the field and your opponent has access to Excited Knight and there is like the necessary card, um, yeah, card difference between both players making Excited Knight live, then, you know, your opponent has to make like terrible plays, but they have to. Like, Torrential Tributing in that particular scenario wasn't really that great. Although, well, protecting the Tensu, I believe, and was it Tencent? Definitely understandable, right? Um, 
that's a good start, at least that's a good field. Horse Prince, um, Fire Fist Bear and Rooster and Effect Failure in the hand. Mm, if it wasn't for Effect Failure, okay, I would have gone for Fortress as well. And, you know, Fortress potentially equipping itself with the gear frame, but nope. It's not going to matter too much. Again, the opponent can attack for a game. So much better game number three and a much better game number th uh, three coming. That's what I wanted to say. So I get to start. That's an okay opening hand. Normal summoning the goldfish. Potentially summoning the gadget, get a search, go for something like a Gear Gigant or Ragnar Zero, right? Would have been very, very solid. But he has one effect failure and two heavy storm. Okay. <laughs> Must be nice, right? Must be nice. Um, so I do have the maxi to get, I believe, the two draw. Well, eventually the, the plus two, I believe, the two extra draws, three draws in total, if I'm not mistaken. But he does have two back rows. So again, the goldfish to the field and threaten him again with the Exciter Knight with only one card difference. But um, quote unquote equalizing the score. Not really, but again, on the field, him losing those, at least that advantage he built up earlier. Again, the Maxi, the Clutch Maxi for the 1 for 1 here, and I believe he's going for Zen Mains. Again, gets blasted away by the Torrential Tribute, forcing him to lose a second for material. And again, very nice here. The Mystical Space Typhoon on the face down leaves me to go for either Geary Gigant. That's definitely an option. Maybe Laval Wall Chain, maybe for Redox, but I think Ragnar Zero was a correct option. Again, threatening him if he has like Tanky, Tensu, or Tencent on the field. Um, well, with, you know, the, the increased attack boost. And because of the Dimensional Prison, I eventually went for Ragnar Zero over something like a Gear Gigant. Definitely going to prison the bear, not want to, uh, you know, let him deal damage to get a search. The Call of the Hunt, definitely a very nice top deck. So normal summon Mermelio, since we know he has a blaster live in his graveyard. And, you know, is that I have a bottom is now set. Um... Yep, there is indeed the end phase call of the haunted, again blowing away the new back row, and that's good, giving me the extra level 4 on the field, completely back in a duel. But again, I have to keep track of my life points, and he still knows that I have the bottomless trap all set here in the middle right. So he does top deck into a typhoon, definitely good top deck on his part, since now he's able to attack over the art knight, coming in clutch again, uh, giving the protection boost on the field, but again that second call of the haunted here, giving me the extra level 4 monster, Mermilio to pop the back row and going for the second copy of 101, very very cool, again quite important, he does have a lot, yeah, he does have a couple of outs like, um, ten, uh, what is it called, Rekingling or Blaster, drawing another Blaster definitely would have been game over, you know, potentially him dealing enough damage, right? Since I'm, I think I'm only left at like 500-ish life points, but nope, no top deck. And now I can deal the last damage and attack for game. So very good duel, very good match overall, I think. But gadgets do take the two points and Fire Fist will take, or at least will only get one point. Next matchup should follow soon. Um, okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching and feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video. Meet them signing out. Peace.